Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mike McCormick with Advanced Criminology here in Owens Mills, Maryland. Uh, today is uh, March 26, 2018. And tonight's discussion, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, gun control uh, as well. Well, the main focus actually will be as to why uh, Mayor Catherine Pugh uh, has come on television and made reference to why she believes, in her mind, that school resource officers uh, in Baltimore City should not be armed. Uh, it, particularly after the school shootings down in Florida and the other isolated incidents of school shootings uh, all over the country, uh, really, uh, that started this year. Uh, we don't really hear too much about the one-on-one the -on -one type shootings, but they definitely happen. And so, you know, tonight's question is just that. Why is the mayor so reluctant not to sign on to the school resource officers here in Baltimore not having a uh, weapons when they enter on school property. It, it just doesn't make sense. Who ever heard of a police officer responding to somebody's home with their gun on their hip in the car and then having to take the gun off before they enter that person's home? <laughs> I, I gotta laugh because it doesn't make sense. So here we are tonight to talk about it, right? Now the mayor, you know, she's pretty good when it comes to uh, uh, political uh, obfuscation because this is a woman who came under fire for, have, for for really going to use public funding to bus, you know, maybe 90 buses over to the school, over to the uh, the the march on Washington this past weekend. And yet, when she came under fire about using public funding, she backtracked and said, "Okay, well, we'll use, we'll find private funding." And and true to form, she found the private funding, and and the, the young men and women traveled to D.C. along with the mayor. She also went. And I often think that the mayor just went just because it made big, good political sense to go. You know, um, it, it just, it, you know, how can you, on one hand, fight, talk about fighting crime in Baltimore City and spend all the money on the police department that you're spending, and yet you don't want to have the school resource officers armed when they get a call to the school? Or if they're going to be there, you know, housed there from, from, from now on where there's one officer to a school, then why not have a school resource officer there? You know, we can't take any more chances anymore. We, we have to, to, to be proactive in, in this. I'm going to tell you right now, um, Mayor Catherine Pugh, she better watch herself in, in 2020 because she's going to be out the door because she makes a lot of idiot decisions, right? So I just, I'm, I'm laughing tonight more than usual because it just doesn't make sense how you want to fight crime on one end in Baltimore City and, and like I say, spend all the resources on the police department. And yet, you don't want to arm a school resource officer. What is he supposed to confront a kid with uh, in a hostile situation if if they get a call there or if the officer's working on site? What, what is he supposed to do? P pick up a phone and call? You, you, you know, it just doesn't make sense. And so, I just wanted to, to get you guys' feelings about this because it... it uh, you know, you look towards your politicians, you know, use common sense in a lot of situations here. But yet, this city, the mayor and the city council seem to want to spend their, their time, if you will, and your money and my money, on uh, having businesses uh, get rid of all their styrofoam and use plastic plates, right, instead. So, it just doesn't make sense. I don't know what's going on down in City Hall, right? But don't drink the water. <laughs> Trust me. So, oh my goodness, I didn't want to get started with laughing with this, with taping this, but I can't help it. It just seems like it's just, it's just a shame, right? Actually, but it, and, and, and essentially, it's not funny because you know we we all need as as, as grown ups, you know, kids are out there looking for guidance, and um, you know nobody wants to have their children, you know, shot at at school, uh, killed in school. Well, no parent wants to get that call that they need to come to the school because there's been a school shooting. And um, these officers are trained just like Baltimore City police officers are trained. They have to go through an academy. They're certified. These, these men and women are certified that work as school resource officers here in the city. They can't carry weapons. And, and that's why they call them school resource officers, right? They're, they are a resource for the school. How can you be a school resource officer and not be able to carry your weapon inside the school? Unbelievable. I'm gonna keep it short. Because I want you guys to get back to me with your thoughts on this. This is a good subject. Uh, and I think I'm going to try to attack. Uh, next time we talk, I'm going to talk about the cameras. 
uh, situation also, revenue making cameras that uh, the mayor has decided. She's always hyped up about, you know, charging people for everything. That seems to be what this city is about now. Parking, moving violations, styrofoam. If it's, 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 it doesn't make sense. The issue is taking care of our kids in the city school system. They already see enough bad stuff happening in their neighborhoods. Bad stuff doesn't need to happen on campus where they go to school. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what yours are. My name is Mike McCormick with Owings, with crim, uh, Advanced Criminology here in Owings Mills. Good night, guys.